Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video. Today I want to talk about W Concept. This is a website that I discovered, I want to say a little over a year ago, on Annaline Loke's uh, website where she featured a bag and I was just like, ooh, that's a cute bag, never heard of this before. And of course you go down a rabbit hole, right? So let me just talk about this website because it is overwhelming. Let me go over 10 bags that I've chose for you. Maybe you'll like it. So let's just get right into it. So this website or this company is based out of Seoul, Korea, and they started back in 2006. They do have an in-house brand called Front Row, but majority and their focus of this website and their, I guess, business model is to provide and connect over 3000 independent Korean designers slash brands. And they add over 5,000 new products, which I'll get to in a second here. They offer men's, women's, K-beauty, as well as home products. If you go on the website, it is completely overwhelming. And this is probably why I didn't make this video until now, because every time I go on it, I go spend 30 minutes and I click away from it. I was like, this is too much. I can't go over that many products, right? On bags alone, they have over 12,000 bags for you to choose from. They have over 61,000 items in the clothing category. The shoes, over 18,000. And accessory, there's over 27,000, you know, earrings, hair accessories and whatever. So I was just like, ah, I can't do this. But now I finally found a little bit of time to run through at least certain criteria. Once you've gone through the website and used your filtering system, you can slim it down to a more management manageable set of items to look at and not just being bombarded by too many products, right? Now, if you're a person that likes a more curated experience and just have a very you know slim amount of items to go through, this is not it. Stay away, stay far away. Do not go to this website. There are some gems in there, right? But if you love to go down a rabbit hole and go treasure hunting, definitely go check out this website. So what I've done today, again, is pick out 10 different bags that I found very interesting and they're all under $500. Most of them are like two to $300 that I wanna go over with you so that you can have an, an option or alternative to, again, all of the big luxury brands out there. So the first one I wanna show you is for Folnua. Totally gonna butcher these names, so don't mind me. But this is the petite bag in the black canvas. And as you go along with me, you'll, you'll see that some of these names, I don't know if they named them properly, but whatever. I thought this bag was completely adorable. It's got originality. It's got a modern twist to it. And it's not completely out there. It is a mini bag. So if you want something a little bit bigger, this might not work for you. But based on the pictures I'm seeing here, it looks like it's actually pretty spacious. You can put all of your items in there comfortably. They don't have a lot of photos. And if you actually want, you can usually just Google um, copy and paste the name and see if this particular independent brand, indie brand, as I like to call them, have their original website, their own website, so that you could check out more photos. But if you want to, you know, purchase from W Concept because you do get points, they do have a reward system, and then have a more streamlined experience. W Concept is the website that will provide that. So I thought this one was really cute at $187, and they do have coupons. I'm seeing one right now at the time of this filming, 15% off. So I think this is a great option for you to try it out. Now, it, the website does not say where these bags are constructed or manufactured, but I'm assuming it's probably all done in Korea, but I could be wrong. The second bag I wanna go over is another canvas bag. We're heading into the summer, so I'm feeling like, let's get summery bags and you know fit into the season and something a little bit more lightweight, right? This is going to be the Reframe, well, it's by a company called Reframe, and they call it the Italian Leather Mixed Canvas Big Shoulder Bag. <laughs> apparently they don't want to name their bags. Sure, why not? Let's just call it that. And this is giving me the Ferragamo vibes, you know, the tote that is all the rage and it's got the little crescent moon shape. I'll insert a photo. I can't remember what it's called, but this is giving me those vibes and also the Savette one. So I thought this is a really great alternative. It's very sleek looking. It's very summery. I'm going on an Italian vacation and I do like how the canvas is at the bottom and then up at the top, it's going to be leather. So the leather handle strap seems like it's pretty long. 
and very versatile for you to wear on your shoulder comfortably. And at $350, I think that's a great alternative if you don't want to spend the Ferragamo you know, price tag. I'm just rabbit firing here because I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long like it usually is and kind of just showcase some of these bags. I may have purchased a couple, so stay tuned for that video. <laughs> the next one is going to be called Joseph Stacy. It is called an Easy Pass Amante card wallet on chain, so like a walk. And this is called the red bean color. I love how it's like an Asian, you know, name to it. And they called it the red bean color instead of burgundy or whatever. You know, these are Korean brands, right? And Koreans and Asians in general eats a lot. They eat a lot of red bean. So this one is really cute in my opinion because it's got that little scissor in the front where it's very unique. It is in a smooth, shiny leather. And it's just a tiny little bag that you can fit basically nothing in there except your essential, which is, you know, a lippy based on this video, uh, this photo here and a couple of card cases at $118. I think that's a great deal. The fourth bag is actually pretty interesting. This is the trapeze small bag uh, by a company called Remember Jane. That's a cute name. Remember Jane and the bag that she was wearing. So this is a very reminiscence of the Fendi Peekaboo. It comes in a couple of different colors. It's got that accordion style and it's just a really cute bag. So if you don't want to spend the Peekaboo price, which I have my Peekaboo, I can see it right there. Um, but it seems like this one is a lot more structured as opposed to the slouchy look that the Fendi Peekaboo is offering. And it does come with a shoulder strap and it's got the top handle, which again, you know, my criteria is for getting bags, I have everything linked down below for you for easy access. And then of course, um, look for coupon codes. If there aren't any, these are still great prices. This is a $208. And they did say that this is cow leather fabric suede on the interior, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is such a cute bag for you to add to your collection. And it does say here, it is an exclusive, meaning that you won't find it anywhere else. Probably I haven't Googled, but probably the fifth bag. I think you're going to love this one. This is by a company called empty label. It is the cute box in burgundy. Now, obviously this particular silhouette is very common. Um, the most famous one you would probably say is the Celine box bag. And this one just looks so elegant, so classy with that gold hardware in a like a pyramid shape on there, which also gives Valentino vibes. But when I see this bag, it doesn't give me Valentino vibes, even though that stud right there is very iconic to Valentino. There aren't a whole lot of photos on here. I wish I could see the interior. Is it one compartment? Is it two compartment? Does it have a back pocket? They don't really show that pic those pictures, which is one of my complaint about this website. And for $209 for a full leather bag, I mean, that's kind of a no brainer. This six bag, this is the original bag that I saw on Adeline's channel. And I love the look of this. Again, I'm on the canvas kick. There are a lot of leather bags that you can check out, but this is the Von Wanku. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Don't come for me. But this is the Festone basket medium bag. And they have a couple different colors. What I like, of course, me being the beige, the caramel, um, kind of go-to for my colors. <clears throat> I think this is a, a gorgeous bag. You can see at the bottom, there's a little, a couple more pictures than the other brands where they have feet, but it's like two leather strips of, um, there's one in white. And I think the hardware is really pretty. It's very unique. And this is a more, I guess, famous brand from Korea where it is pretty popular and you do see it quite often. They come in different sizes. It's got that slouchy look and it's just a really good option for a bucket bag at $300. Before I go over the last three bags, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and enjoyed this video, do so for me. I'm trying to hit 3000 subscribers. Celebration things will happen at 3000 subscribers because that is a great milestone. And again, just want to thank for all of my continued viewers, comments, interactions with me. I truly do enjoy, and I make sure to reply to you, every single one of you. And of course, if you DM me on Instagram, I have these long, awesome conversations with y'all about things that we love, which is bags, right? And jewelry. And I did say I did purchase from W Concepts, so stay tuned for that video. I've been on a shopping spree. I was good for a couple months, but that didn't last very long. So the seventh bag here is Ani, I think it's called. And this is such a unique looking bag. I know the lunar, the moon shape is super popular when it comes to shoulder bags and everything, everything is 
shaped like this, right? That's their lunar or moon bag. This particular one is the other way <laughs> where it's like <clears throat> a crescent, but in the other direction, if you, if you see what I mean. And I did notice that a lot of brands are doing that one strap where it goes down um, on one side, but not the other side. And I think that is such an elevated look because if you are, people are raging about the Y2K kind of, you know, aesthetic where there's straps everywhere. And honestly, that does bother me. It makes the bag look super busy and I'm not a fan of that. I like this one strap, one style, you know, kind of look where again, I feel it's very elegant. It gives it a little pizzazz and adds to the whole entire look of it. Right. So this one obviously has that. And I think another canvas bag, I'm just been picking out a bunch of canvas bag. If you want me to do another video where I just focused on leather bags, just let me know. But this one is priced at $322. And I think this is a great weekend bag. If you want to use this as your, you know, kids bag, or if you're just going to the beach, I think this is a really good catch all. Or if you're just doing traveling and you're going on the plane, I think this one is a great addition with a lot of style. So really digging this. And I do want to make, mention, it does say that a lot of these companies, these bags I'm covering, they do mention that it is made handcrafted. So that's kind of cool. Okay. So here's a, the next bag is a leather bag, Ostra mini bag. This one is by El Big Gap. Yeah, just look at the screenshot. They are on pre-order and this is a bag that is exclusive to W concept or so they say it's come in multiple different colors. Obviously I love my topi, my, you know, neutral colors, but they do have it in black. And I think this is a really pretty one reminds me kind of the number 10 from Polen. And I do love how it's not the zip enclosure because sometimes with my biggest gripe with lunar bags or shoulder bags that have that crescent look is that there are zippers and you have to open it with two hands if you want to access your bag. Whereas this one, you could see it's a, a flap opening. So probably with magnets built in there so you can open it really quickly and close it really conveniently. And it comes in 10 different colors. Wow. That's a lot. The ninth bag is a gorgeous green color bag. This is by a company called Joy Grayson. It's their Margot crossbody bag. Top handle, of course, gold hardware, check. Uh, shoulder strap or crossbody strap, check. And, and a back pocket. Ooh, this is great. I kind of love this. This reminds me of the Chloe Marcy crossbody. I actually was eyeballing it at the Nordstrom's at Nordstrom's recently. And I really like the shape. It's got a brush gold hardware. I think it comes in multiple colors. Again, I wish there are more pictures of the interior of the bag just so we can see, but based on what I can see here on the side angle, it feels like there is it's an either an accordion style or there's two compartments in there. I find it really interesting how the D rings are up at the top and built into the top handle. So I wonder how that's going to look when you try to open the bag and how it affects the functionality of the top handle. The last bag I want to cover is the hobo large bag in the brown, cr dark brown crinkle. Again, they're just terrible at <laughs> naming these bags, but this is from a company called Marge, Mar Marge Sherwood and priced at $369. And it's inspired by the 90s. Again, very on trend when it comes to the hobo back look. It looks like it's got zippers and two zippers, which is, I think, a bonus because having one of those hobo bags with just one zipper, very, it limits your usage and the functionality of the bag. So if you really like that slouchy or hobo look, I think this is a great option, priced at $369. I think it does come in multiple different sizes. So very on trend. I think this is another great option. So those are just 10 bags out of 12,000 of them that I filter through. So again, there's very cutesy bags. There's very elegant bags that you can choose from. Again, if you want to go down that rabbit hole and spend hours on this, it's a great way to spend a Thursday night. I don't know, <laughs> but I really hope you enjoy that. Everything will be linked down below. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so for me because I will be doing unboxings for the W concept come back and join me on that because it's actually pretty exciting. I'll show you the process of ordering from them, what it takes, talk about the return policy if there is any, um, just kind of walk you through it so that you don't have to do it yourself and kind of just be going into the unknown. Let me do that for you. So life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can somehow adult easier and hopefully less in retail. I'll leave another video for you here.